Hi, I'm David Bolton of GoParallel, and today I'm going to talk about doing multi-threaded Python with OpenMP. Now, if you know anything about Python, you'll know that it's not thread-safe. I'm referring to CPython, which is a default Python interpreter. Cython is a compiler, and you can use it with almost all Python code. The idea is to take one or more functions or classes and compile them with Cython. It generates almost 3,000 lines of C code for a single-line function. Let's have a look at a simple program to print the sum of the squares of ints up to the number you put in. In the example shown, it outputs the sum of the squares up to 100 and to 500. Here you can see the program def sum square n uh, returns sum i, i times i for i in range of n, and then prints sum square of 100 and sum square of 500. If I run this, and I'm using IPython here, so it times it, you can see that it outputs a lot of lines and it comes up with about 324 microseconds per loop. This is the Python program, and what I want to do is take this and turn it into an extension under Cython. So first, and we need three files for this. First of all, we need the extension file with the, with the extension PYX, and what I've done is I've copied this into here already. And the next file we need is the build file, which will compile this. And we run this under uh, from the command line. And let's do that now. And there's a there it is. Python setup dot py build ext in place, and we run that, and it compiles it pretty quickly. The th once we've compiled it there, we want to test it, and that's where the third file comes in. And what I've done is I've taken the uh, the bottom bit of the original file here and put that into test sum square. I've also got here, from sum square, I'm importing the function sum square. And so we then down to IPython, and we run it, but it's test sum square. And let's see how long that takes to run. 274 microseconds, and if you remember, the original one took around 320. So it's roughly saved about 80%. It's running at about 80%, uh, taking 80% of the time to execute. The reason why this isn't such a great improvement is, I suspect, because we've got three, we've got built-in functions, sum and range here, and we're also using this list comprehension. So it's improved on it, but not substantially. Now that we've seen how easy Cython is to use, what about OpenMP? Thankfully, the Cython developers added that to Cython a few years back. If we look here, you can see an, an extension I've written, use openmp.pyx, and this uh, imports from the libc standard lib, uh, malloc and free for allocating memory. It does abort as well, but I'm not using it. And it uses parallel and prange here, which you'll see this down here. Uh, prange is like range, but it, but it allocates it among the openmp threads, and it's doing a it's populating a square array and a tripled array, and it's basically a simple of work. Uh, other things to note here are we've got a type for the parameter, which you don't normally see in Python, and the C on the def here and the types here also tell you that you're sort of definitely stepping outside Python territory. The build file here, called setup2.py, is a little bit more complex than the setup.py used to build some squares.pyx. And you can see here we've got a couple of lines here which add in compile and link args for OpenMP. Um, but apart from that, it's pretty much as before. And if we go down here, we can do a quick build. And this one is setup2.py. Now that means I've compiled it earlier and it hasn't done uh, anything with it. If I open the files here, we can see the C file that's created by this. I'm not going to show you because it's several thousand lines long and it's a lot of boilerplate code. Let me just delete this and then run the compiler, the compile again. And you can see there's the all the compile thing. If it had been an error, you would have seen it there. But that worked fine. Cython is very, very good about mixing Python variables and C variables, if you like. C variables being the ones defined here, cdef. But the, there is a little bit of technical stuff, the reason that you have to understand why, and it explains what with no guild really means. The reason why CPython can't do multi-threading well is because much of the Python code is not thread safe. There's a global interpreter lock, it's called aka Jill or Gil, and that means that access to Python variables and objects can only be done on the thread which has the lock, which has Gil. 
If your code isn't using Python variables, as in this case, then it can run in what is called nogill access, and that's what the with nogill means. If you wanted to access a variable in here, you, you wouldn't do it inside this because OpenMP can't work that way. Uh, it has to be outside. You use a with yield statement, and I'll not say any more than that, but that's that's what that does there. Um, this also tells it to parallelize it using up to two threads. Compiling is the same as before, except with a different build name, as we saw here. Uh, I want to do that again. Um, likewise, the program to test the extension is fairly short, and that's test OpenMP from open from open MP ext import test bar, test bar being the name of the function. So if we run this, uh, well, I've done it there, but I'll just show you again. It's just under a second. And if this was working, there's quite a bit of variance there between the times. If this was working with OpenMP properly, um, there's a technical problem why it isn't, uh, we get better improvements with more loops. Uh, I've never managed to get it past one thread. I think this is to do with VirtualBox. I've got it configured. This, this, this Linux you see here is actually running a virtual box on a Windows PC, and I've got it configured to run with four CPUs, but the, uh, every time I try running it and calling a function which returns a number of threads, it always returns one for some reason. So all attempts at measuring speed increase with OpenMP proved a bit fruitless. As a way of increasing execution speed, generally Cython is excellent. If you've used OpenMP with C, C++ or Fortran, you'll be aware of what it can do, and Cython makes it possible for Python. Thank you for watching, I'm David Bolton of Go Parallel.